Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about alkaftadine. What is this drug alkaftadine? This is one of the topical antihistamine which is available as ophthalmic solution and this drug is particularly indicated for the treatment of allergic conjunctivitis. So allergens can produce eye inflammation resulting in the conjunctivitis leading to various symptoms such as within the eye some itching can be present and this can stimulate the lacrimation resulting in the watery eyes and this allergic response can also increase the redness of the eye and even the vision can be blurred resulting in the blurred vision. So all these symptoms are because of allergic response which produce inflammation within the eye which can be controlled by alkaftadine. So alkaftadine is a topical antihistamine which is going to inhibit the actions of histamine thereby it can control the allergic response. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this alkaftadine what is the chemical nature of this drug, how this drug acts, what are the precautions, contraindications and side effects of this drug we will discuss in this video. Now let us see the chemical nature of this alkaftadine. This drug is having fused heterocyclic ring system. We can observe these two rings within the structure of alkaftadine. So first one is the imidazole and second one is the benzene with agipine that is the benzagipine. So now this alkaftadine is a fused ring system of imidazole and benzagipine. Where is the point of fusion? We can give the numbering to this imidazole. This is 1 and this is 2. Similarly, we can label the sides of benzagipine. So this is the A side and this is the B side. Now this benzagipine is fused with the imidazole like this. So 1 and 2 of imidazole is fused with B side of the benzagipine. So we can write this as imidazole benzagipine with fusion between first and second portion of imidazole and B side of the benzagipine. We can represent this as 21-B. So imidazole 21B benzagipine is the ring system that is present in alkaftadine. So this is the complete structure of alkaftadine. Here this is the benzagipine ring and this is the imidazole ring. Now let us give the numbering to this entire structure. We can start the numbering from the nitrogen. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now fused ring system present in this drug is the imidazole benzagipine. So we can write this as imidazole 21-B benzagipine. And if we see the attachments, 11th portion, one of the side chain is present which is nothing but another heterocyclic ring system, piperidine which is attached by fourth portion by double bond. So we can write this as piperidine for ilidine. Here ilidine indicates it is attached by double bond. And this piperidine is having methyl group at the first portion. So we can write this as 1 methyl. And if we see the point of saturations, fifth and sixth portion is saturated. So 5, 6 dihydro. And finally at the third portion aldehyde group is present which is the principal functional group in this structure. So we can represent this group with the suffix 3 carbaldehyde. So that is a complete name of alkaftadine. Now let us see how this drug acts. First we will see how the histamine is released by allergens. Allergens act like antigens. They can be expressed to the immune system by antigen presenting cells. When the allergen binds to these antigen presenting cells, these allergens are going to be digested and the fragments of these allergens can be expressed to the MHC2 molecules. Now these fragments which are binding with the MH2 molecules can stimulate the T cells. These are the CD4 T cells which are going to stimulate the TH2 lymphocytes that can further activate the B cells and these B cells can release the antibodies IgE antibodies. In this way an allergic response may lead to release of IgE antibodies these Ig antibodies can then act on mast cells as well as basophils. So on these mast cells, the receptors for Ig antibodies are expressed Fc sigma R. Now this Ig antibodies can bind to these sites and in presence of allergen, now these mast cells can produce degranulation and release of histamine. So this histamine produces allergic response which produces the inflammation in the eye. Now in the allergic conjunctivitis, histamine acts on the eye, so it can stimulate 
the neurons associated with the ophthalmic system resulting in the itching response and it can also act on the smooth muscle of the eye resulting in the increased swelling and it can also increase the vasodilatation resulting in the redness of the eye. So all these actions are related to histamine release. All caftadine can block the actions of histamine thereby can reduce the allergic conjunctivitis. So within the eye H1 receptors are present which are G protein coupled receptors with seven transmembrane units. Now histamine can act on these H1 receptors. When the histamine binds to H1 receptors, phospholipase C system is going to be activated, which can convert the phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate PIP2 into two important components. One of the component is the IP3, inositol triphosphate. Similarly, second component is the DAG, diacylglycerol. This IP3 can increase the intracellular calcium levels by acting on the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The sarcoplasmic reticulum is equipped with IP3 receptors. Now IP3 can bind to these IP3 receptors which produce the release of the calcium into the cytoplasm. Similarly, diacylglycerol can activate the protein kinase C. These are the phosphorylating enzymes which are going to stimulate the opening of inward going calcium channels. In this way, the calcium levels within the cell are going to be increased which results in the excitation of the cell. If the target cell is neuron, it is going to be excited to produce increased itching response. Similarly, the raised levels of calcium can activate the endothelium such that endothelium can release the nitric oxide. This nitric oxide produces vasodilatation resulting in the redness of the eye. In this way, histamine can produce allergic response. Now, all caftadine can bind to these H1 receptors, thereby it can inhibit the histamine activity. When these receptors are inactivated, allergic response can be inhibited. This drug can also reduce the chemotaxis as well as activation of the eosinophils. By all these actions, alcaftadine can reduce the symptoms of conjunctivitis. Now let us see the precautions of alcaftadine. One of the important precautions of this drug related with its administration. So when this drug is administered into the eye with contact lens, what happens? because this ophthalmic solution may have preservatives and when it is administered into the eye with contact lens, it can produce some softening of the contact lens. So it should not be administered along with contact lens. So before the administration of this drug, this contact lens should be removed and the drug should be administered. And after the 10 minutes of administration, again the contact lens can be replaced such that we can minimize the effects of preservatives and other excipients on the contact lens. What are the contraindications? One of the important contraindications of alcaftadine is that this drug can produce hypersensitivity. Even it is very rare, but in few of the patients, we can observe some severe irritation, severe swelling of the eye, some itching, redness. If any persistent hypersensitivity reactions are observed, then this drug should not be used and it is contraindicated. What are the side effects? Again, the side effects of this drug related to local actions, it can produce eye irritation, burning as well as stinging in the eye and redness of the eye can be observed for a short period after the administration. Eye pruritis can also be observed and because of eye irritation, lacrimation may be stimulated and blurred vision can also be observed. So all these are the local effects that is produced by administration of this drug which are persisting for a short period. But apart from these ocular local adverse effects, this drug can also produce headache as well as nasopharyngitis in the patients. So influenza-like effects can be observed with this drug. It can also increase the somnolence, the sleepiness in the patients. How it is given? This drug is available as ophthalmic solution and it is only for ophthalmic use. One drop should be administered into the eye once daily and this drug is available at a strength of 2.5 mg per ml and a 5 minutes gap should be maintained between the two different ophthalmic medications. So after 5 minutes, any other ophthalmic solution can be administered into the eye and after 10 minutes, the contact lens can be restored into the eye. So that's about this alcaftadine. Alcaftadine is a topical antihistamine which is used as ophthalmic solution for the treatment of allergic conjunctivitis. This drug blocks the H1 receptors, thereby can reduce the allergic response produced by histamine and it can also reduce the stimulation of eosinophils as well as reduce the chemotaxis. By all these actions, alcaftadine can reduce the 
symptoms of allergic conjunctivitis such as itching, redness, blurred vision and swelling of the eye and this drug is chemically imidazobenzazepine derivative. When this drug is administered into the eye, contact lens should be removed in order to avoid damage to the contact lens and the tip of the ophthalmic solution should not be touched with eye in order to avoid the eye injury as well as to avoid the contamination of the ophthalmic solution. This drug can produce some local adverse effects such as eye irritation, lacrimation, some redness of the eye and blurred vision. These side effects persist for a very short period and nasopharyngitis, headache and influenza-like symptoms can also be observed with this drug when it is used for long-term treatment. All caftidine should be administered as one drop once daily in order to reduce the allergic response. So that's about this drug for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.